Hey everyone, welcome back. So a couple weeks ago, we pulled out this Honda Dax, this rolling frame that I'd had for a number of years. And we did a video where we installed a life and engine and we walked through the wiring harness, the trail buddy. Which one did we use? We used the TB515 um, wiring harness on this, the simple harness. And we got it up and running and we took it for a little ride. And that was about it. There was a lot of unfinished pieces and parts that we didn't get to, but that video was mostly on just how easy it is to throw a life and engine in and, and do the wiring. So we did another follow-up video or two. We did a video on modifying a chain guard to fit the life and engine. And then we did a video on building a battery box from scratch to, do, to hold the 12 volt battery for this. So today, I think we're gonna do a video and we've got some, some things to finish up. We've got pegs. Uh, I've got too long of a throttle cable on it. See how it comes way down around the front. We wanna, we wanna shorten that throttle cable up. So I've got one that's a little shorter. Got a pod filter, got a grab handle, got a uh, speedometer cable and then the exhaust I had on it was just riddled with holes so I've got an aftermarket exhaust we're going to put on it so we're gonna get that done we uh, got a few other things maybe we might tackle we'll see how long this video runs and how long it takes us to do those things and and then we'll uh, we'll move on so let me get set up and we'll start installing some of these parts pod filter couldn't be any simpler just slides on and Just uses like a hose clamp to clamp it down. But it makes it look so much better. All right, uh, the other thing we've got is, back out, a set of these foot pegs. And I bought these off of Amazon for $19. They did not include the kickstand. So I fashioned up a kickstand and added a spring. So for 19 bucks, these bolt right on. You can get the original pegs to fit, but you gotta do some modifications and I didn't have any original pegs. So for 19 bucks, this was the way to go. I need to get the camera reset up, get it a little bit lower so we can get down and see what we're gonna do. All right, foot pegs aren't much different than a pod filter. It uses uh, four eight millimeter bolts that just bolt to the bottom of the engine. getting them to all line up and getting them started can be a trick. I mean, we're 75% of the way there. I think we got it. Oh, and I got my ratchet going the wrong way. Nope, I think I just cost them that one because I backed it out and then restarted it. That's the danger of having your ratchet going the wrong way. Well, that ain't good. We're gonna have to. All right, I'm gonna have to back up because I need to uh, re-thread. I need to run a tap up in that. Doesn't look like it's pulled any threads out, but I don't like the way that was going up in there. I I shouldn't have tried to put it in with the uh, with the impact. All right, I'm gonna shut you off. I gotta see if I can find a tap. I think I should have a tap to fit that. What is? That? I think that's an eight millimeter by one point two five. If I'm not mistaken, that's what those are. So let me uh, see if I can get that one hole cleaned up. Uh, let's try this again, see if we can keep from messing anything up here. 
Let's see, where are we at? something, aren't we? Those impacts are nice for uh, speeding things up, but when you're working with these engines and everything's aluminum, you got to be careful. You don't want to you don't want to force it like I I hit it a couple times to see if it was just hung up a little bit and could tell that it was cross threaded or something. We got her straightened out. Yeah, and you don't want to over tighten anything because that aluminum will just pull it straight out. Now these pegs. Like I said, I bought these for $19 on Amazon, and I think they'll work really well for just a rider bike, um, but I, I don't think I would want to use these if I was going to be building, you know, something that would be like a pit bike, like where you're jumping jumps and, and so forth. Um, they didn't seem that sturdy, so, yeah. Think we're good so uh, let's move around to the other side and put the grab handle on and like i think i mentioned in the first video that we did on this bike you know what i put the wrong one in the wrong hole i've got two different lengths and i'm a I'm going to use the shorter one here where the gas tank is because I definitely don't want to run it in there and puncture the gas tank with a too long a, too long a bolt. This one, I've got a little bit more clearance back here where the battery's at. But I think I mentioned in the original video that these bikes, the DAX, actually came with these grab bars standard or stock. Trail 70s do not have them. They always look better with them. You know, one, it fills in the holes so you don't have the holes and it just, they just look nice. Now, I was going to change the seat on this bike, but uh, it's, I've sold it to a guy. It's going to go up to Detroit and he said, uh, just leave that seat on there. It's, this side doesn't look too bad. It's got a little little damage on this side. The foam seems to be, uh, it's breaking apart right in there, but the rest of it seems to be solid. And he's gonna put a new seat cover on it himself. So we're not gonna mess with the seat on this thing. Okay, let me, tell you what, let's get set back up over here and let's put the exhaust on. And yes, I, I, there is a washer up in there. I put a, uh, a or a gasket. Uh, I put it on when I put that old exhaust on there. And of course it kind of crushes it up inside the head. And when I took the old exhaust off, I double checked it is still in there. Uh, if after starting this up, if I think it's leaking, I will pull it back off and put a new new one up in there, but we're going to see if it's not crushed too bad that it actually seals with this exhaust. With this rack on here, it really makes this a short stud. 
Oh, there, great, it grabbed it. I was a little concerned it wasn't, the threads weren't grabbing it, but it got it. Feels like it's seating down on that washer or that gasket pretty well. I think we'll be okay. Now, one of the other things I need to do to this, I, I really want to put an engine guard on it. Uh, and from using these aftermarket exhausts in the past, most of the time, I don't know if the angle is just slightly different here or what. A lot of times you can't use this entire front guard. Are you guys looking at where I'm? This gets in the way of the spark plug guard that mounts to the gas or mounts to the uh, the frame guard, and so a lot of times I just cut this off and just have this piece stick up above. We'll, when we get to that point, we'll cover that. Okay, I think I am ready to go back up here to the headlight. Uh, if you saw the very first video. <laughs> I forgot to check the headlight. I put in, uh, this is all new. Uh, I had the housing was on the bike, but it did not have a headlight. And so I bought a headlight to put in it. And apparently it had, a, I ordered it with a 12 volt bulb, but apparently it came with a six volt bulb and I didn't check. So as soon as we fired it up, we blew it right off the bat. So we've got a replacement bulb. And while we've got the headlight out, we'll put the, uh, the speedometer cable on. So let's get that uh, set up up in front of the bike. This headlight comes off just by one screw at the bottom. Take that out. And then it's held in in the top. There's a little molded piece that's part of the headlight bucket. And then this has this little hook that just hooks up underneath there and, and then bolts in. Now to change... Now, <clears throat> Change the headlights, pretty simple on this one. Uh, some of these bikes, some of the later model ones, came with a sealed headlight. So the whole thing is a bulb and you have to buy the whole unit as one piece. These have a, uh, have a replaceable bulb. Spring loaded, just kind of pushed down. Drop the bulb out. Yep, she's, oh yeah, we blew it all right. And let's show you this. I'm, you guys probably already know, but all right, it's circular, but then has that little point. And then you see the bulb itself has that little tab. So to get it located right, you put that little tab at that point. And then the plug itself has three little tabs and it will only go one way. If you've got it clocked incorrectly, not, the three tabs won't line up. But if you've got it clocked right, you can put the three tabs in, push it down, and then turn it, and then you should be good. Okay, while I've got this open, let's pull all this wiring back out of here. The first thing I want to do is the speedometer cable. You're not seeing it, but I'm running it up through the bracket that's in the, that's mounted to the fender. And then I've got to get it in the hole in the bottom of the light bucket. And then up here, the cable itself is square and it fits into, I guess I should probably get you guys turned here. I can't zoom in any farther. Back here at the back, 
of the headlight, there is a threaded post, and that's what the speedometer cable fits up in there and then threads on. I'm actually going to pull that bulb out to give us a little room to work. That one, my speedometer cable just slid right in, but if you have trouble, you might have to turn the wheel or something to, I'm sorry, you probably can't see a thing other than my hand, but Okay, so I've got that threaded on. I'm not going to put all this back in here yet. Um, one, a couple things here. Let me back you back out. We've got gray cables and black cables and so forth. I'm going to take the wiring back out, uh, the horn button wiring right there. I'm going to take it back out. I'm going to take this front brake cable off and we're going to black all that out so that we have one color cable uh, and then like I said I need to change this long speedometer cable out for I've got another black one so I'm going to take a, a minute and take the lever off so I can get to the screw that's inside there to get the uh, horn button off take the throttle apart the other reason I need to do this too is when I pull the front brake it doesn't, I, I want that to, I want that to snap back. And I don't know if it's the cable or we've got gummed up front. So we're going to start with the cable, pull it loose. And if we need to try and grease it, if it seems to move smoothly, then we're going to pull that front tire and see if we can't, can't, see if we can't pull this apart and uh, lubricate it up a little bit. All right, so I got everything disassembled. Uh, I pulled out the wiring for the lights and the horn, and I have spray painted the housings black. So we'll let those dry, and while we're doing that, we will install our throttle. So I got a new, I got a different cable that is three inches shorter than the other one. So let's hope it doesn't isn't as long, you know, doesn't have all that excess slack. So I just stuck the cable up through there and then it just threads into the housing. Um, the little ball goes into the ball opening on the twist throttle up here. Just push it in until the cable is in there. So I need to pull that out. Alright. There we go. Gotta get it to where it all fits right. Once you put these two pieces together, you may need to twist the throttle to get the uh, to get the seat right. Alright, this is a pain in the butt because this particular one has little hex nuts that are loose that fall out. You gotta hold them in there. Oh, did I lose it? I didn't hear it hit the table. Nope, I think it's still in there. We got her started. Let's get the other one started. This, uh, yeah, the bolt's already in there. Tough one, you can't see it. OK. 
Okay, I'm not gonna tighten them all the way down because like I kind of explained in the first video, uh, we gotta get this clocked right so that it doesn't hit the, the handle for the brake. So I'll tighten this all down once I have the, the uh, brake handle back on it. So let's move around and assemble the throttle. Okay, so I've got the cable end. You gotta put the cap on first. Push it all the way up till it seats your spring. And then this is the weirdest slide I've ever had. Most of them have a slot the entire way. This one has a little keyhole. It just fits like that. Make sure you put the slot with the side that has the pin. It is possible to put it in 180 degrees out and then your slide won't drop down to the bottom. And when you start it up, your bike will run wide open throttle. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It's not, uh, it could have maybe went another another inch or so, but that's at least because it was coming all the way out here, hitting and pushing itself back, so. All right, let me check on the status of our electrical wire, see if the paint's dry and see if we can't get those put back in. While we're waiting on that paint, I guess we could go ahead and put our brake cable. I uh, lubricated it. It seems to be free. The uh, the brake seems to be free up here, so I think everything is all right. We'll just need to make sure we adjust it and so forth. And all right. Well, it's not working with me. Oh, I've got to put spring on. That's, uh... Okay. Well, let's see, I can't put the lever on up here yet because we have to put the horn button in. So let me grab that horn button. All right, our wire's not 100% dry, so we're gonna get paint all over us, but that's all right. We gotta start by feeding the wire down through the hole up here in top. Why aren't you working with me? Okay, there it is. I use a little pick with a hook on it, and it, you're going to pull it out. There's a hole in the back side of the handlebar right here. Ah, pulled it too far. There we go. And then the horn button has this brass post. And when you fit it all down in the hole, there's a little screw. you have to access from inside 
where your brake lever goes. And it's a pretty rare occurrence that you hit it on the first shot like I just did. That's not normal, guys. If you fight it with it, don't feel bad because that's what I typically do. All right, we're gonna feed our wire down and it'll go into the headlight bucket. I think before I feed it in there, we'll make sure we got all this, everything the way we want it. Let's get the, uh, the wire for the headlight switch. And it is the same way. There's a hole underneath right here that the wire goes in and then it's gonna come out a hole on the back side of the handlebar again. And you gotta get all three of them in there before you'll start to feed it. All right, there's the wires. Oh, I had it, I had it. I like, if I get one, then I can just use that to pull the rest of them out. Just gotta get that one first. There it is. Two. Where's the third one at? Need the blue one. And it's the same way, it just has a post that fits down in the top of the handlebars. And then because this one doesn't have a brake lever, it's relatively easy. You don't have to fight in between that perch. said relatively easy. I must not be hitting it right. I'm doing this left-handed and I'm not left-handed. I think I got it. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go clean some of this paint off my hands and then we'll finish this up. All right, guys, I've got it mostly put back together. Uh, cables all put on. I put a engine cradle on it. I do not have the little guard yet. I'm still waiting on that. And then when we get that, we'll modify the little shield that fits onto the exhaust because I, I can't keep it on there because of the, uh, the screws, the way that shield mounts to this aftermarket exhaust, it hits down here. So we'll put the shield on, then modify that, or we'll put this little spark plug guard thing on and then modify that shield. So there'll probably be one more video. Uh, I also want to tackle this mess and see if we can't do something here. 
but I've got it all pretty much together. Like I said, I'm not changing the seat. So let's, uh, let's make sure we don't blow a bulb. Let's fire it up. Let me scoot you guys back here. Sorry for the noise. Scoot this stand back. Oh man, I'm shaking you all over the place. I am so sorry. It's a little cold out. I'd go outside, but it's just a tad bit chilly outside. table. I was going to move the table, but maybe we can go around it. The other thing I want to do yet too is uh, drill out the back of the exhaust, so we'll do that in the final video. Give it a little choke. It's gonna be a fun little bike. Like I said, it's uh, I believe it's heading off to uh, a subscriber in Detroit. I'm gonna let him clean it up. I'm not gonna wipe down the frame or clean do any of that. You know, usually I paint rims and clean it up, but I'm gonna save some of that stuff for him. I'm just today in this video series. I'm just building a nice little rider. I think we're doing that. So. Guys, thanks for following along. See you on the next video. There will be one more video on this bike. We'll try and wrap it up. If you uh, enjoyed today, hit subscribe, like, comment, all those things. You know, uh, you know what the routine is. So we'll see you in a couple days on the last video. Thanks.